in Havana, a hook and line is not the only way to catch a fish. Though if you want to be a spear fisherman, you need considerably more equipment, courage, and you really have to swim like a fish. Some head far out to sea. Others hug the rocks, despite the often unpredictable waves. When he finally emerges, there are plenty of others on hand to help. This is something of a team sport. Even the frigate birds get their share. Most spear fishermen drag their catch behind them on floats. Others stuff the fish into their wetsuit pants. That may not be too wise, since they're not the only predators out there. It's a barracuda. At 12 pounds, it'll bring in a month's income. And as an added bonus, comes with bragging rights. It's quite a story. <laughs> He's leaving out the best parts. After he speared the barracuda, it took him for quite a ride. When it turned, he pulled in the line and carefully grabbed its tail. They fought, and he finally got it by the gills. I asked him if he was afraid. But the most interesting thing about spear fishing isn't what they catch. It's what they catch it with. Like most things in Cuba, their spear guns are homemade. Todo esto es materia prima que puedes encontrar en cualquier taller, en cualquier basurero, en cualquier lado. They use an old bicycle pump to compress the air, car and plumbing parts for the rest. Why go through all that effort? Eh, sale dentro de los 50 o 60 dólares. En la tienda, esta escopeta vale 180 o 200 dólares, este tamaño. The spear fishermen may get lucky now and then, but they can only dream of getting way out there, where the really big fish live. Believe it or not, a few brave souls have found a way. Oh.